This brief video demonstration is based on a comment that I received on the forum concerning the use of a older Futaba, which is different than the newer servos. So what I have here is a review battery pack into an eSky dual channel servo tester. So as I move the servo dial on this, my Futaba servo, which has been underneath the water, completely submerged, for about six hours now, you can see is moving at a pretty good response. I went out and I bought a brand new high-tech servo, and I'll move it in front, also hooked into my eSky. I've bathed it in, or dipped it in Corrosion X, and you can see the difference in the response. So while the servo turns, it is still relatively sluggish compared to that of the older Futaba servo. But the real test is in dunking, so let's plop it in. And now we have the two servos together. Of course, the bottom older Futaba has been in the water now for, as I mentioned, six plus hours. The new one, probably a matter of seconds. So as we move the control, the newer servo is still moving, but the amount that it moves is rather sluggish compared to the almost instant action of the older Futaba. I'll move in a little bit closer so you can see the response on this. I'd hate to use this as a steering control, steering servo because of the very sluggish response. Anyway, it's something that I learned and proved that the members of the forum really know what they're talking about, with the exception of yours truly.